Biden signed the executive order that we've been talking about this morning, calling on federal agencies to examine the pros and cons of crypto and a U.S. digital dollar. So federal agencies will have several months to prepare reports with their findings. SEC Chair Gary Gensler tweeted this morning, of course he did, and he said, I look forward to collaborating with colleagues across the government to achieve important public policy goals, protecting investors and customers, guarding against illicit activity and helping ensure financial stability. So Gary just said a bunch of nothing, in my opinion there. But George, I'm going to pass it off to you for your first take on this executive order news. Yeah, so the executive order urges, I'm reading this directly from an article, urges federal regulators to review the risks a roughly $1.75 trillion crypto market presents to consumers, investors, and the broader economy. Like, okay, what have y'all been doing? Gary Gensler has been <laughs> running around saying, too. like, I thought we were talking about bad, this for crypto's a while. good and blah, blah, blah. It's like, what have y'all been doing? I thought that this was actually already under, you know, people were thinking about it. People were, I don't know, people have been talking about it, that's for sure. But why do we have to then sign an executive order to say, hey, we're still thinking about it, but like, we're thinking about it for real now? Um, I think the one thing before I pass off to Zach that I think is so odd is. This everyone keeps pointing to financial stability, and I just want to point out that crypto is not the mortgage market. So if this falls apart, although we probably would not be very happy and we probably wouldn't have a job, it's not going to like implode the entire world. So anyway, Zach, off to you. Yeah, I mean, I you know when I look to DC crypto stuff, I look to Nick Day. Coindesk reporter. And then I look to the Coin Center guys, not Niraj. He's out there tweeting takes left and right. He's always good for a chuckle. But if you go to see Jerry Brito's page or, uh, you know, Peter uh, Valkenberg's page, you see some analysis from people who are in the weeds there, right? And I think those uh, two figureheads, two sort of pillars of the crypto regulatory conversation, see this as a quote, sober and serious approach to regulating an industry while also mitigating some of the obvious risks. Uh, Sober was their quote, and I should have end quoted on that because the other stuff was mine, but um, some really good threads breaking it down from folks who are in the weeds, in the trenches, trying to inform these conversations with lawmakers day in, day out. And I think what we uh, need to be wary of is again, sort of alarmist politicians, alarm, alarmist pundits, alar alarmist media personalities such as ourselves necessarily getting out ahead of this thing and 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 you know saying that the sky is falling when indeed this may be some of that regulatory clarity that we've long sort of talked about in this show whether or not regulatory clarity both here and abroad can you know uh sustain innovation in the u.s for the long run and i think that e the executive order may be um the most concrete thing that we've seen that suggests that that clarity may one day arrive. It's still a long ways off. And I think George, your point is very well taken, right? You're signing something that says we've got to do more, you got to do more due diligence here. But this may be that first step that says, okay, hey, this is a serious thing. It's not going away. There are some positive benefits to this technology. There are some obvious risks. How do we make that work in a new regulatory framework? And it's really interesting to see the conversation that this has sparked. Uh, up in the, the highest halls of, of power here in the US. But I'm gonna to toss it down to Will. I saw his hand go up. Yeah, the one thing that was interesting to me was that the Biden administration noted and acknowledged that so many people in the United States have crypto or trading crypto. I said 40 million Americans are about 16%. That's a sizable constituency that the Biden administration definitely shouldn't want to punish at this point. Definitely looking at like Biden's polling numbers. They're not gonna to wanna to piss off more people at this point. So I'm actually, pretty hopeful that this is coming at a, a good time. They're looking at the numbers they're looking at the situation and being like, Hey, maybe we don't want to piss off 16% of the electorate, uh, just with a very quick and easy messed up, um, with this regulatory bill. Also, I think it's interesting looking at some of the stuff that's happening on Capitol Hill proper, like Elizabeth Warren looking to writing some legislation to attack like proof of work, attacking part of like the Bitcoin market there. And then other legislation that's been floating around, uh, within Capitol Hill, like the, the halls of Congress itself, this would seem to like preempt anything. It would go above and beyond and, and create like a cohesive development on uh, across government and across different industries on what the United States government's approach to uh, regulating digital assets would look like. I, I don't know for sure how those two things would interact. Obviously, if a bill is passed, that's going to 
uh, change the landscape a lot. But my feeling is that an executive order would definitely put like the the ground stone or, or the foundation in for what the policy for the United States going forward is going to be. And that might help us get away from some of the crazy stuff that we've seen passed around Congress. Zach, I want to throw it up to you for a quick take on that, but I also saw Jen's hand go up. Yeah, I'll, Ooh, I'll, I'll, let's I'll defer go first to and I'll go after. Jen, no, Jen, no, Jen, you can have it. You can uh, have it. All right. I was just going to say as much as I agreed... <laughs> As much as I agree with George at the top of the show, Zach, I, I agree with you. I think that the executive order is good news. This told me that there's no rush to regulate and regulate incorrectly. They're taking their time to kind of really evaluate across agencies. I'm very curious as to how the federal agencies are going to work together on this. I know in the past we've seen them kind of divided, but maybe the, the research and the time that they're going to take to put into this will help everyone get on the same page. What was curious, though, I thought, is I didn't see any um, any comment from, from Hester Peirce on this, which I thought was interesting, especially since there's a focus focus on innovating, um, I innovating it in a way that can work for all. And that's kind of Hester's message. I haven't seen her say anything about this, but Zach, I'll pass it off to you. Yeah, I think the cross agency thing is really important, both to what, you know, Jen and Will were saying, right? I mean, I think you, if you talk to, you know, uh, crypto VCs and some, you know, people within big crypto companies in the space, uh, they were telling us a few months ago, right, that uh, the SEC was sort of making a land grab here. They wanted to have as much control as possible uh, over the regulatory conversation in DC. And the fact that this executive order lays out that, hey, this is going to be a multifaceted push here um, is interesting. Interesting to see that roll out rather than it being concentrated within, within one agency in DC. It's obviously going to involve multiple parties. And I think that's, again, a bit of clarity that uh, that is important to establish here with this executive order.